diethylstilbestrol, commonly known as DES, is an estrogen. It was thought that its administration would combat hormonal imbalance in cases of low levels of natural steroid hormones. In 1953, a clinical trial showed that DES was ineffective in the prevention of miscarriages and premature births. Despite this, DES was prescribed by doctors as the pregnancy wonder drug into the 1970s. April 22, 1971. Mass General Practitioners reported a link between DES and vaginal cancer. It was associated with causing a rare cervical cancer in the daughters exposed in utero, known as clear cell adenocarcinomas. The drug was also responsible for the increased rate of infertility and pregnancy complications seen in DES daughters due to womb malformation. This discovery led to the development of a cohort study involving the mothers who originally took the drug. A relationship between DES exposure in women and increased risk of breast cancer was found. It was suspected that a similar relationship occurred in DES daughters. DES sons also seem to suffer from an altered reproductive tract development. Exposure was linked to testicular hyperplasia, semen abnormalities, cryptorchidism, and epididymal cysts, as well as a suspected increased risk of testicular cancer. At present, little is known about the implications of DES exposure for the third generation. As the third generation is not yet at an age where reproductive tract abnormalities are likely to be recognised, research was attempted using mice. These trials showed an increase in lesions of the testes and occurrence of tumours in the reproductive tract. In human trials involving DES grandchildren, an association between a family history of DES exposure and the risk of developing hypospadia in males was suggested. So what now? The Food and Drug Administration formally acknowledged that the widespread prescription of DES was, quote, a tragedy. As it continues to affect the lives of multiple generations, this is a prime example of incorrect trialling leading to the distribution of a new and inappropriate drug.